welcome back to Trumpet's Call and Morning Prayers. If ever there was a time that we needed to pray, it's now. And so I pray you'll join me as we proceed before the throne of grace to request help in the time of need. As I come before the Most High this morning, the things that are heavy on my heart is the state of our nation, our Yasharal, the state of our families, the state of our leadership, or the lack thereof. We're splintered. We're in such disagreement. We can't seem to agree on any doctrine. We can't seem to agree on whether or not Messiah is our Messiah these days. So there's a lack of agreement. There's a lack of peace and harmony within the awakening within our our nation. We've got some who are still espousing Christianity and who are demonizing those who have found the truth of their identity. Now, let it not be mistaken that mistake mistaken that identity can save you because it cannot. Once we come to a realization of our identity, we still all need to come through the door of Messiah, of Christ. We cannot approach any other way. The law will not attain unto the righteous standard that the Most High has for us so that we could obey it and keep it and approach unto His throne without His Son. That just can't happen. And so we're just in a in disagreement about so many different things. There are people on channels who are espousing that those who are in marriages with Gentiles need to end those marriages. And honestly, if I hear one more video about that, if I see one more thumbnail about that, I think I'll just throw my hands up in the air and scream. The Most High does not want His people united with people who are going to take them away from Messiah, not people who have a particular skin color. It's not about skin color. It's about whether or not you're in Messiah whether or not you're in Messiah. If you're in Messiah, you're brothers and sisters. And I just pray that finally these people who are sharing these videos that are sowing discord in the, in the body of Messiah would cease and desist in the name of Yahushua, in the name of Yahushua Jesus. I'm commanding you in the name of Yahushua Jesus to cease and desist. It's sowing discord. We have so many more things to worry about. If the Most High does not want his children to be married to Gentiles, he will sort it out. You need to hush your mouth and pray. You who are doing that, hush your mouth and pray. Let the Most High sort it out. Let the Most High speak to his children if, he, if they're engaged in an activity that he doesn't want them to be engaged in. Just hush your mouth and pray. And that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to hush my mouth and we're going to pray because we need it. We need it. We see what's going on around us. Oh my goodness, closer. It's closer than ever this mandate to get um, medicated or no access. No access in the marketplace, no access in the workplace, no access in, in buildings and and just in living, no access. And the Bible prophesied it and foretold it, and yet here we are, here we see ourselves at the doorstep of said action. And it's still remarkable and incredible to believe that we're living through these times, that we're actually going to see the salvation of Yasharal. We're, we're the fig tree that gets to witness that. We're putting on leaves. Now it's time for us to put on some fruit. We need to put on some fruit so that the Father can send deliverance for that precious fruit. So all the discord and all the nonsense within our nation needs to stop. If you have a platform or you know someone who has a platform and they're not using their platform to call the people to prayer, I'm going to call you out right now. And if you know someone who has a platform and they're not using the platform to call people to prayer, I want you to share this video with them. And I want you to share this message with them. I'm going to call you out. 
We do not want the blood of anyone on our hands. And right now, if you have influence, if you've got people giving you uh, um, cash apps or sending you money on PayPal, or you've got thousands of people watching your videos when you come onto YouTube, or you go onto one of the Hebrew platforms, you've got all these followers on Facebook and Instagram, and you're not calling the people to prayer, I am calling you out. I'm calling you out. In the name of the Messiah, I'm calling you out. Because you have been given the influence for a reason. Our people are scattered. Our people are like sheep for the slaughter. And we need some people to stand up in real leadership. And the greatest form of leadership we can show these days is to call our people to prayer. Prayer. Nothing else. Nothing else. Even keeping the feast days. Important, nice. But if you congregate for the feast days and you are not falling on your face before the Most High asking for deliverance, I'm calling you out. If you've got thousands of Patreons, you send out newsletters, you send out updates, you're requesting money, you've got tears in your Patreon where you're collecting greater and greater money based on the, the amount of money that people give to you. And you're not calling your people to prayer? I'm calling you out. There's no greater thing that we can do. People, the dragon wants to destroy the entire seed. That's the time that we're in. Make no mistake about it. The, everything that's going on in the world right now, they're after us. And they'll take out whatever casualties they have to along the way. But it's about us. It's about that precious fruit that belongs to Messiah. It's about the vineyard that belongs to Messiah. It's about the fig tree that they want to cut down. So we need to be praying. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning. In the name of Yahushua Jesus. And we're just asking you, Father, to hear us. Because we know if you hear us, and we know that if we pray in accordance with your will, we can have the petitions that we desire of you. So we come, Father, with praise and thanksgiving on our lips, and we lift you up, and we laud you, and we magnify you, and we say, Father, be lifted high in our hearts. Be lifted high in our sights. You who sit above the circle of the earth, your eyelids try the souls of men. You are the Most High Yahuwah. And besides you, there is no other Savior. I thank you for sending Messiah the first time to save and be an offering for sin. I thank you for your faithfulness. I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your gravitas. I thank you for your willingness to continue to work with us, even though we don't always cooperate. I thank you for being a loving father. Thank you for being a good father. You're the best father. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. We come to you this morning as a group of people, whoever is listening or watching this video, we come to you corporately, Father, asking for your help, asking for your deliverance. We need you, Father. We need you. The horses of the enemy are bearing down. We can we can feel the steam of the hoof. Of the, we can hear the hoofbeats and we can feel the steam of the nostrils as they breathe down the back of our necks. We can feel it. It feels desperate. It feels desperate. And there are many voices out there saying different things, but we're not speaking with one voice and it's not a certain sound. So, Father, I ask you to give us clarity clarity of sight, clarity of action, clarity of insight. Help us to understand the scriptures in a way that we haven't understood it before. Help us to see your purposes and your plan as you laid them out for us. Encourage our hearts during this time, Father. Help us, Father, to not give up. Help us to not walk in fear. Help us to have confidence that you do have a plan. 
and that though it seems you wait till the midnight hour or just before the midnight hour before you send deliverance you send deliverance peter was in this jail cell and you send the angels to set him free and though his his our brethren had been praying for him when he showed up at the door they thought he was a, a spirit they thought he was had passed away because when you answer sometimes it surprises us because we can't believe the manner in which you answer us Father, we're asking you to answer our prayers that are going up, scattered prayers throughout Yasharal. But we ask you, Father, to help us to come to you with one voice and cry out for deliverance from this Egypt. Help us to cry out. We cry out right now to you, Father. Deliver us from this Egypt. Deliver us from this Babylon. Deliver us from this wicked system. Deliver us from evil men who are bent on our destruction. Deliver us. Heal us, Father. Heal us so that we can hear your voice. Heal us so that we can come together and be united and have a form a united front, at the very least in prayer. We may not all agree on doctrine and the things that are in the scriptures and what you require of us, but we may not all agree about that. But we can agree that we need help. We can agree that you're the only one who can help us. We can agree on that. Help us to come to you, Father. Help us to cry out. Help us to be on one accord. Let the gifts of the Ruach be in operation once again in Yasharal. Let the gifts of knowledge and word of knowledge and healing and helps and ministry and administration and all the gifts of the Ruach be in operation. We need it. We need the Ruach. We need the Ruach. It's like the life's blood of our nation. We need the Ruach. We need your guidance. We need you whispering in our ear, telling us which way to go, that this is the way, walk ye in it. We need you encouraging us that they that wait upon Yahuwah shall mount up with wings as eagles, will run and not be weary, will walk and not faint. We need you, Father. We need you to encourage our heart. We need you to deliver us. We need you to deliver a certain sound within our nation so that when we cry out, it's pleasing to your ear. And you hear us and you deliver. Father, I pray for families, families that are splintered. There are many of us who are involved in interracial relationships, interracial marriages, and we don't want to leave our marriages because we love our partners and we love our spouses who are Gentiles and they love us. And they love Yasharal, and they're willing to abide with us. And Paul said, you said through Paul that we shouldn't put them away. If the unbelieving or the Gentile is, is desires to stay, that we should not put them away. And many of us have spouses who are believing. They are trusting in Messiah. They are trusting in, in the Father. They do want to be a part of the congregation of Yasharal. They do bless Yasharal all the time. And I pray, Father, that you would just bring clarity in our, in our nation regarding that issue so that once again it can be put to bed. I pray, Father, that you would help us to love one another. Help us to love one another so the world can see our love and how we work together. And they'll know that we're your children. They will know that they're that we're Messiah's disciples, his disciplined ones. That they'll know because they see our love. They see us working together. They see us sacrificing for each other. They see us calling out to you on each other's behalf, praying for each other, interceding for each other. Father, grant us a love for each other that we've never had. Let Ephraim and Judah no more vex each other or be jealous of each other. Call us together. Father, as you know, there's an agenda afoot. It's an extermination agenda, just like Haman's extermination agenda. Gallows have been built 50 feet high, and they desire to take out your people. You know this. We need you. We have no power. We have no military might. We never have, not in that way. Any victory we've ever gained, we've gained through the power of the Ruach coming upon or rising up within us. 
any victory we've had has been because of you. We're not like the nations who wield a powerful sword and we conquer using our sword. That's not who we are. We're Jacob. We dwell in tents. We're content to commune with our father at Bethel and say, surely this is the house of the Most High God. I knew it not. We're Jacob. We're Jacob. And as Jacob, we've always depended on our father to deliver us. So we're depending on you now. We're depending on you now. Deliver us now, Father. Save now, Father. Encourage now, Father. Provide for needs now, Father. Speak your words of wisdom in our hearts now, Father. Punish the wicked now. Destroy the enemy now. Break the cheekbone of the wicked now, Father. Cast down the accusations against us now, Father. Destroy the dragon that's coming against your children now, Father. Do it now, Father. We humbly ask, do it now. Let your children see your power. Let the world once again see your power and your majesty. You showed yourself. You showed your strength. But but a portion of it because the world couldn't handle to see all of your strength but you showed your strength at least some of your strength to pharaoh and his army and the people of egypt back in the day you made your name famous in the earth do it again father do it again make your name famous in the earth once again let the earth know you the people they've forgotten They don't know the Most High Yahuwah. They don't know your power and your majesty and your splendor and your wisdom and your insight. Then they don't know your people, your hidden ones. Reveal your power. Reveal your purposes. Reveal your people. Reveal your power. Reveal your purposes. Reveal your people. Oh, Father, we need you. Oh, Father. We need you. We can't do a thing without you. Help us to endure. He that shall endure to the end shall be saved. Help us to endure, Father. Help us to endure. Help us to endure. I thank you that I could come to you and bring my heart and bring our concern, my concerns for our nation. Help us, Father. You see, you know, help us. Help us, Father. Deliver, save, now. In Yahushua Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen and amen. Brothers and sisters, we need to come together. We need to do better. We need to make a concerted effort to love outside of our comfort zone. Loving is hard. It's not, e- it's not for the wimps. It's not for the weak. It's for the strong. We need to make a concerted effort to love outside of our comfort zone. Love even when it hurts. Love even when you're upset. Give, share resources during this time. When resources are scarce, we need to depend on one another. Famine is coming. War is coming. Anarchy is coming. Where we are when this is happening, I'm not sure. I do have a feeling we're going to be seeing at least some of it. Prepare. I've been saying that. And I've been like Jeremiah, like a voice crying in the wilderness. I've been like John the Baptist, it feels like. A voice crying in the wilderness. Prepare. Prepare your house. Prepare your heart. Love one another. Show your resources. Cry out to the Most High for deliverance. He's our only hope. And continue in prayer. Continue in prayer. Steadfast. Just like they did in the the upper room 
when they continued in prayer with the women. There was no exclusion. The women and men worshiping, praying together for that blessed appearance of the Most High's Ruach that was sent. With the women. The disciples with the women. And I'm saying that because there's been this concerted effort to silence women. And it's wrong. It's not of the Most High. The Most High works through His people, male and female. So I just pray that you'll continue to pray. I'll continue to pray. We need it so badly. But in spite of all that's going on around us, we know that our Father hears us when we pray according to His will. And it is His good pleasure to give us the kingdom. It's His good pleasure to gather us back into our land because He said He would. It's been written. I pray blessings upon you today. May the Most High make His face to shine upon you. May He lift you up. May He lift up His countenance upon you and grant you peace. All praises to the Most High Yahuwah. And I pray that He would lift up His saints and reveal His power, His purpose, and His people to the world. Shalom.